Donald Trump is defending his call for a temporary ban on Muslims entering the United States. I want you to take a look at this exchange with my colleague Chris Cuomo on CNN's New Day. Our security network is the best in the world. If you ask people who are in the business of keeping us safe, they say the idea of banning Muslims does nothing to help and everything to hurt. They're the experts. That's what they say. They think this idea is stupid. Until I, well, uh, when you say that, so I spoke before an audience last night, of a massive audience last night. Right. The people were there, thousands of people inside, thousands of people outside. They couldn't even get in and got standing ovations as soon as this was mentioned. Standing ovations. Yeah, I, I, now, I, of course you did, Mr. Trump. Is, These are well, your people. I mean, I have standing ovations from very smart people. These are intelligent people. These are great citizens. These are people that are concerned about our country until our country's representatives can figure it out. Discussed now with Imam Jahari Abdul Malik of the Council of Muslim Organizations in the greater Washington area. Thank you, Imam, for joining us. You doing okay? Thank you for having me. Uh, what do you make of this debate, Imam, uh, going on now about banning Muslims from entering the United States? You know, I mean, first, l l let's be honest. It it's not realistic. It's not a rational uh, response. It is fundamentally a response that is based in fear. Uh, Fear-mongering has never been anything that has made America great. When we are afraid, often we make uh, the wrong decisions. Uh, my concern is, how is it that we can have a nation uh, that is built on the love of immigrants, on the engagement of people coming from other places in the world, bringing their skills and talents, and then you have uh, Donald Trump, who would speak against the U.S. Constitution while saying that he would like to take the oath of office that but he you swears heard? to uphold the Constitution you against... You heard he's had, he's had his defenders come on here. Certainly has, he's had his attractors, but he's had people who, who've defended him. You hear people in the crowd cheering him. It was mentioned in the Chris Cuomo interview. He said, listen, you know, I had thousands of cheering people, many, many cheering people. Can you understand, considering what has happened recently, why people are afraid, and what would you say to them? You know, I, I want to be clear. I have been uh, in my life as, as, a, as a Brooklynite. I have been in many environments where I have heard people cheer for something that was despicable. Uh, this is just another example. If you have people who like a particular kind of song and that group is playing, then all the people in the crowd will cheer when they hear that particular melody. It might be Islamophobic, it might be homophobic, it might be anti-Semitic. When I grew up, it used to be okay to call somebody a wop or a spick. And if you were in that group, uh, people would cheer you on. That's not the world that we want to live in anymore. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that uh, this discourse is dragging us back to an era in America that we thought was long gone. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at this, this security footage. It's a mosque. It had severed pig's heads thrown at, it, at its doorstep. It's in Philadelphia yesterday. And just two weeks ago in Virginia at a zoning meeting on whether to build a new mosque. This happened. Take a look. Let me tell you something. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants your evil cult in this county. And I'll tell you what. Let me tell you what. I will do everything in my power to make sure that that does, does not happen. We don't want it. Because you are terrorists. Every one of you are terrorists. I don't care what you say. And I don't care what you think. You can smile at me. You can say whatever you want. But every Muslim is a terrorist. Listen, some applauded. Others disagreed there. But are you worried about when, when you see things like that? Um, a group of us were invited to come down to Fredericksburg to talk to them about how to engage their neighbors. Clearly, these individuals who are at this hearing are not people who live in that neighborhood, who know that mosque. They've been operating for many years as, as an Islamic center. They only wanted to expand. And in the climate of fear, of intolerance, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, if, if we take this, this approach uh, of accepting this kind of intolerance, we will be no better than ISIS and the others who are intolerant of other faiths and other ideas. Um, we've got to work together. We've got to come through this together. We've mm -hmm. survived many, many episodes of racism before. 
And it's now time for Americans to stand up and say well, that we're going to live by what we believe in. Imam, we thank you for joining us. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. It's Trump's proposal.